Hey guys, so today I am finally filming a video that I've wanted to film for so friggin long but it has taken ages for these products to arrive. So I was seeing loads of videos going around YouTube of people trying things off of eBay and loads of you said that I should do it as one of my like half and half videos so do half eBay fake makeup versus like the real products and I was like yes I like that idea very much however it's taken so long for everything to arrive that I'm pretty sure by now like loads of people have done this video eBay products just take a goddamn long time to get here when they're coming from like China because China is a long way away geography with Sophie. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off by doing my eyebrows and even the real version of this is something I've never tried before. I'm about to use it for the very first time so there you go, you got a little cheeky first impressions in there as well. Don't say I don't treat you. This is the Anastasia, Anastasia, and why can I never say that word? The Anastasia blah, 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 Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Lots of you have always said that I should try this in the shade Taupe so I think this feels like the brow product. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, imagine if they just sent me that. Fooled ya. <laughs> so the eBay fake version has come like this. They didn't even bother putting it in the box for me. It's like they're, they're making you work for your products, aren't they? <laughs> so box wise, they look so similar. I'll do some close ups for you, but they look so super similar. It's like the, the tiniest bit different. Now, even from just the front picture on the box, you can tell that the real taupe and the fake taupe are very different things. Like seriously, they have not done a good job with the shades. Oh, and the actual bottle pots, bot bottles, they're not bottles. The actual pots inside are completely the same. However, if we open them up, you'd think they'd at least try to get the shades similar. The real one, a very lovely taupey colour. The fake one is like a chocolatey brown colour. They're not even remotely similar. <laughs> like, oh dear, you tried, didn't you? You tried. Let's dip her in. Dip in my dip brow. Oh, hello, creamy. Wow, it like sunk in, just like just like that. It was very nice. Okay, I've decided to do this side as my real side and this is gonna be my fake side. Uh-oh. My first impression is that I really, really like it. It's so quick and easy to use. The taupe colour is perfect and a little bit went a long way. Like I literally dipped once. One little dip in my dip brow and I did my whole eyebrow with that. So it's going to last a long time. I have a feeling I'm not going to like the fake one as much, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh yeah. I wanted to give them a sniff. <laughs> as you do. Okay, so the real one is scentless. This one, I caught a whiff of it when I took the lid off before. It just smells like plastic, like plasticky Play-Doh-y smell. That there, those are two very different smells, but it somehow smells like both of them, which shows something's gone wrong. I'm just gonna clean off the brush and now I'm gonna try the fake dip brow, which is as fake as you can get. Imagine if my eyebrow just burns off after I put this on. <laughs> well, that'll be a good clickbait though, won't it? My eyebrow burnt off. So it's definitely exactly the same texture, like you sort of touch it the tiny spin, it's like getting like sucked in. <laughs> not quite like that, but it's like really creamy and like, it's not hard. I had a feeling this one was gonna be quite hard and stiff, but it's not, it's still quite soft. Everything about it is wrong. Look at that. There's no way I can make my eyebrow look good with something that is A, like a really warm toned brown and B, the consistency is so weird. It's like, it just feels completely different. It felt soft when I dipped, Oh. Still felt soft when I dipped in the pot, but now that I'm applying it, it just feels completely different. This just like glided on really nicely. This just feels weird. I think I'm going to do eyeshadow next. So you guys would have seen this in my last video. I've got the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, that one, and I have it here. Duh. Oh, very nicely packaged this one. It's all in this like foamy stuff to protect, 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 protect the fake peach protect the fake peach right so we've got real and we've got fake at first glance the boxes look exactly the same i was like whoa they've done good however the first thing i noticed then was that this one says eyeshadow palette the fake one says eyeshadow collection it's a friggin palette mate and then i looked on the back and the quality of like the shades written out on the back is so blurry like it's really bad quality on the back so i've now just opened them up and the palettes themselves look quite similar apart from the fake one is covered in weird white stuff oh it's just covered in like a weird white powder hooray <laughs> as you guys know the real one looks like this and it smells like peaches which is very nice this one definitely doesn't smell like peaches it smells <coughs> unpleasant so the real one has got like lots of sort of shimmery colors in it this one they just all look matte and they look so much paler so 
Ah, I keep doing that. So I'm just gonna quickly apply the real one. I'm gonna take a bit of peaches and cream and put that all over my lid as like a base. I really wanna use this one. This is called Bellini and it's like a really pretty pinky goldy kind of color. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit in my crease. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna take a little bit of Cobbler, which is a slightly browny toned colour ish, kind of. And I'm just going to put that in my creasy bit as well to darken it. <laughs> Listen to me go, trying to act like I know what I'm doing. I have no idea. I'm going to take a bit of charmed. No, I'm not. I'm just going to take a bit of caramel. No, I don't want that either. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to take a bit of caramelised, which is just a brownie colour but a bit darker still. That was a bad idea. That looks really stupid. That is not my best effort. It's far from it, actually. But yeah, I've just kind of made like a messy, bronzy, purpley, weird pink thing. It looks like I've been punched in the eye. So now I'm going to do the same but with the fake one. So peaches and cream. A little bit like this. So with the real one, you like tap it on the tiniest bit and you get so much product on your brush. I feel like I'm gonna have to scrape my way through this. Like it's not collecting it at all. It's really hard and stiff or here. Not how I like my eyeshadows. <laughs> now watch. Nothing's happening, like nothing is happening. So forget about that. We'll try a darker shade. So next I went in with Bellini, didn't I? Which is this one. Where the hell is it? Like nothing's coming out. So now I'm gonna take Cobbler again to try and deepen it up. I have a feeling it's not gonna do that. Oh, honest opinion, piece of crap. <laughs> It doesn't do anything. I know that they're not real, but I'm just sort of like, I can't believe how little it worked. Like it has done nothing to my eyelid. So next we've got mascara and for my real one, I've got the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, which I really, really like. I use this quite often compared to, it's just like on its own, which makes me feel like it's been used or something. Like when something's not in its packaging, I find that odd. I think they like brought these envelopes and then realized they couldn't fit the boxes in. So they just took them all out of the boxes <laughs> or like, well, maybe it's just someone who loves roller lash boxes. So they buy the mascara and then just get rid of these. They're like, take them 99p, have them. I just want the boxes. <laughs> that would be an odd collectible, but each to their own. So yeah, comparing the tubes, they look exactly the same. Maybe it's real, but 99p, how? If it is, someone's like seriously got their maths wrong. Like, why you're not you're not making any money, mate. You need to reevaluate your business, I think. <laughs> I'll put the real one on first and then we'll try the fake one after. I really, really, really love this mascara. It's one of my favourites, I'd say. Okay, so that is a couple of coats of the mascara. And now I'm gonna try the fake one. I'm so scared for my eyelashes. Like, this is very close to the eyeball when you don't know what's inside the product, but let's hope that I don't go blind. I'm going on holiday to holiday? I'm going on holiday tomorrow. I'm going on holiday tomorrow, so I rather keep my eyesight for that oh yeah by the way the wands are exactly the same like identical ones as well so that's so odd i genuinely think it might be real okay so i've done two coats on both of them and they are pretty similar i'd say the one that i got from ebay has done a little bit less i'm confused i'm so confused i would still not recommend buying 99p roller lashes because i don't know what's inside it but this has been the best thing so far. Like it's very similar. Maybe it's real. <gasps> Maybe you are real. I have no idea. So I used this for the first time in my last video as well. And it's making a comeback. This is the Anastasia Moon Glow Kit Child. Moon Glow Kit Child? <laughs> Moon Child Glow Kit. There we go. We got there in the end. So yeah, this is the real one. And then this must be the fake. Oh, what am I doing? Real fake. These look absolutely identical. Even everything that's written on the back is exactly the same. So I'm going to now get, because it comes in a little sleeve. So this, wait, this time I really don't know which is real and which is fake. This, oh, for God's sake. No, no. I think I was holding the real one in this hand, wasn't I? Oh, God. So I'm going to take it out of this little sleeve thing. Oh, he doesn't come out very nicely. It's so much harder to get the fake one out of the packet. Everything looks good from the outside, but it's what's on the inside that counts so oh yeah that is the real one <laughs> ah! my brain is just not working i was like it's been used this is the real one that i've used so here is my lovely real one and here is my not so lovely fake one oh, poor wee wait real one is scentless oh, it has that same smell like the fake eyebrow thing it just smells off the colors look really similar they've done a really good job at replicating the colors apart from blue moon which has come out quite gray toned whereas it's way more purple what one should we use today i think i'm gonna go with blue ice which is like the whitey one 
I just love this so much. Like, look at it. Oh, what's the end of my nose? Is that real or fake? Well, <laughs> my nose is real. <laughs> Don't start any rumors. I'm gonna just put the real one on the tip of my nose. And now I'm gonna try the fake one of exactly the same shade. I'm gonna use a different brush, but it's the same sort of thing. It's still, I just definitely spat at you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just taking blue ice again. It's still doing the job. It's still that really intense, kind of like bluey toned, whitey color that makes this like highlight, obviously. The packet's the same. It still works. It's just a little less shimmery. The only thing is that it smells like, if they made that smell better, I don't think people would realize, but then that's not a good thing because obviously you don't want to be using fake stuff. I'd say it works, but I still wouldn't recommend it because now I have a stinky face. But yeah, for this one, you're probably going to hate me. This is the most annoying thing, but I don't actually have a real version of it to compare it with, but I still wanted to test it out anyway. I was really intrigued because I've always wondered what the Kylie lip kits are like, but I've never really been able to bring myself to buy a real one. I don't think I'd use it enough to warrant paying that amount for one. So I just really wanted to try a fake one, but I don't have a comparison. I'm so sorry. That is so annoying. However, I am really nervous because I noticed that this one has been like taken off. Like basically this list for this product they've had to remove like eBay has had to take it down and I'm thinking have people complain that their lips have like burnt off from using it or something obviously it is fake I can tell even without a comparison that like it's like a really grainy picture it's really blurry but yeah this is the shade candy K oh wow so if any of you guys have this lip kit you can tell me is that the color that it's meant to be and then the lip liner yeah the lip liner matches pretty well I have a feeling this is definitely not the colour of Candy K. I mean, the picture on the front is like a pale nudie colour. This is like a dark, deep pink. The formula works pretty well, like it's a decent lip liner. Now for the actual... Oh, that's such a flimsy lid, like it literally just pulled off so easily. It didn't need much screwing, which is <laughs> weird. I'm trying so hard not to get it in my mouth because I don't know what's in there. It applied okay, like the consistency was fine. It smells awful, like it stinks. So many smelly things on my face right now, I'm not loving it. And I know for a fact, even without a real one, that, that is not the right shade. So definitely fake, but obviously, what do you expect? It was even removed from eBay. eBay had to remove it. There was something dodgy going on here and it's on my lips and I want to take it off. So I'm going to end this video now <laughs> so I can get all this off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do it. It was just for a bit fun like obviously i know that the fake ones aren't gonna look as good as the real ones my overall verdict is the eyebrow definite no the eyeshadow the biggest no like it did nothing the mascara i'm confused about like it worked but i'm still pretty certain it's fake the highlighter worked but again i can tell that it's fake this feels so weird now that it's drying i seriously want to get it off but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am definitely not promoting for you to buy fake makeup off ebay you don't know what's in it it's not safe so i would definitely not recommend it you'd be way better off getting some makeup from like a cheaper brand that's like a dupe of it there are so many dupes of like expensive products out there give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want more makeup videos i love filming them so thumbs it up to let me know that you like them and i'll see you very soon Bye.